guys, welcome to LT Models. My name is Lewis. Um, it's been a while since I've loaded any kind of videos. There's a reason for that. I've been busy with live. Uh, with um, we were hosting our annual contest here in, in the Antelope Valley in California. Uh, this year we hosted our regional contest and it was a success. Um, and I had the privilege and the stress. Uh, a stressful uh, task to judge the armor category okay it was a lot of entries and it, I mean I was just floored of how much talent there is out there and I was very very inspired so I thought you know what why don't I just build a piece of armor um, and take a break from from aircraft and um, the other day I was watching YouTube and one of my favorite armor builders in YouTube of all time is John Hayward. You guys may know him as uh, Scale Model Medic. One of his first videos um, is, you know, weathering uh, green vehicles, and I believe he's also doing a half track. Now, I'm not sure if he's a Tamiya half track or maybe a Dragon. Uh, I'm not sure about the, the, the kit that he's doing. But he shows how to weather and stuff, and and, and I was like, oh man, I want to I want to play with that. So I went ahead and and you know opened the box, and oh my gosh, it's it's from 1975. Tamiya, it fits perfectly, no no problems at all so far. Uh, it's got injection uh, pin marks everywhere, um, but you know a little bit of putty. So I want to talk about this series of videos coming up, uh, what I'm going to be using, uh, what I use, and if I find any problems, show you guys what I've done and, and how I tackle the problems. Now so far, I'm on step number three, uh, which is uh, pretty much the, the chassis and the the axles, the front and the rear axle, and I'm in number four right now. So let me show you first what I'm gonna be using. As far as, uh, as, as our aftermarket is concerned, I didn't wanna get no more photo edge. I wanna take a break from that too. So I went ahead and I got the resin set for from uh, Verlinden, okay? Uh, I got the set number 1856, which is the M3 half track storage set. This one is the, for the Tamiya. It gives you an idea of how, you know, how the sets, I mean, how, how he dresses it up and everything. And it's, it looks pretty cool. Now, the, the kit comes with figures, so I'm, I'm planning on using some of them. Uh, I'm not a figure painting by any means. A pin, a figure painter I mean but I'll try my best to paint them uh, you still gotta paint this set and and weather it and all that stuff it comes in a little bag with resin you know I already cleaned some of it as you guys could see there's some flash present which is typical you know from Berlin and, and um, it was I believe it was like $35 on eBay and I said, ah, why, why not? You know, like I said, you could use all the set or you could just part of it and, and use the rest for another project. So, you know, really nice investment if you're interested. Uh, as far as paints is concerned, I'm going to be using Vallejo paints, maybe some Tamiya paints. But I had, a, I had this set sitting in my drawer for a long time, as you guys could see. Um, it's the uh, weathering set for green vehicles. It's part of the AFV uh, weathering system from Vallejo. It comes with a guide on the back, you know, pretty standard. And uh, it shows you this. Fortunately for us, we have people like John and Scale Automatic, and, and uh, there's another gentleman who has a video guide on how to use this set. Uh, I'll put a uh, his name up in the video as well uh, so I got that advantage and a lot of reference and stuff um, so I'm using this 
And this is pretty cool. It comes with, you know, pigments. It comes with uh, the pigment binder, uh, your paints that you're going to use for weathering, and a couple of washes. So it should cover everything as far as um, weathering is concerned. Um, for putty, and this is another item that I saw just laying around in my in my drawer. Um, I'm using this bundle. It's from 3M, and it comes in a large tube. This is 4.5 ounces. Okay. Um, very very nice stuff, guys. This this guy's uh, it's it's amazing. It sands beautifully. Um, the only thing is, is very, very smelly, okay? It could be harmful. I know a couple of modelers that had a, a, a reaction on their skin. That's why I'm using uh, gloves just to, just to be safe. Um, so be careful before you try it, if, if you wanna try it. Uh, but I've seen a lot of modelers on YouTube, they use this stuff and it works great problem that I'm finding with this and I don't know if we have some do my the weather up here is it does shrink okay but I am taking my time uh, if you wait you know 12 to 24 hours uh, you could apply it and apply and apply and like I said it comes in a large tube and this is inexpensive I have two of these and I believe each one of them is like three bucks 350 I don't know uh, but it lasts you forever so I'm using that and I'll show you guys the the progress so far okay let me zoom in okay so this is the progress so far what I what you see here is the chassis okay just to give an idea of the amount of putty that I use on the back you know you, you can see all the red spots that's that's putty uh, pretty easy to fix this is the part that you're not gonna see on the build this is the bottom part and uh, I'm still uh, this is not glue these axles right here they're not glue they're just you know mounted on um, very very impressive how the engineer in 1975 was from Tamiya it's it's just flawless, you know, if you do everything right, if you follow the instructions right, it just falls together. And I'm very, very enjoying this. Uh, like I said, you know, um, weathering armor is fun, but you gotta know how to do it right. If you don't do it right, oh, my camera is going bananas. Sorry about that, guys. Um, oh, the battery is dying too, so I better hurry up. So anyway, this is my my uh, first update slash intro um, that I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna be showing you guys updates. If I find a problem, I'll, I'll I'll make sure that you guys know about it and how I tackle it and everything. And yeah, with that said, I want to thank people like John and and people like like you know. Tamil called bar cars who, who have tons of videos for us to watch and learn on how to weather armor so thank you guys for watching like always my name is Lewis I'll catch you guys on my next update bye bye